And gun violence concerns are still an issue in Roanoke. Just last week, four people were shot, one of them fatally. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is working for you tonight. She's live within the city's uh, with the latest uh, strategy for addressing the issue. Lindsay. The city is asking for your input to see how gun violence impacts you every day and to figure out why it may happen in the first place. We've seen uh, acts of violence, uh, gun violence increase this year. The number of deadly shootings in Roanoke more than doubling over the past four years, from 11 in 2019 to 25 people shot and killed so far in 2023. We're trying to learn more from the community about why that's happening, uh, from their perceptions, and how they are experiencing that. Councilman Joe Cobb, who sits on the Gun Violence Prevention Commission, says that's why city leaders launched a new gun violence community assessment survey. The second survey of its kind is funded through $50,000 of American Rescue Plan Act funding. Survey questions include your age, which quadrant of the city you live in, if you've been exposed to violence directly or indirectly, and if you feel safe in your community. This is a way to help us measure that. Um, and then think about how we can be most effective with the strategies and programs that we're supporting and creating. Cobb says the survey isn't about providing police intel. Instead, on how Roanoke Valley leaders can support those hurting the most. Trauma isn't just related to someone who's been injured by or has lost a loved one due to violence. Trauma is experienced on many different levels uh, by many different people in the community. The survey is anonymous. The city's next step is to reach out to students and youth to see how gun violence impacts them. If you'd like to fill out the survey, we'll have a link over on our website, WSLS.com. Live in Roanoke, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.